You're watching Good Morning Carolinas with Crystal Costa, meteorologist Darren Stack, and Amanda Kinseth. Welcome back, everyone. CrossFit is a fitness trend that many people are trying out this new year. It features over 100 exercises, believe it or not, from basic pull-ups to flipping big tires. WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinzib is live at Core Fitness in Myrtle Beach taking on CrossFit. Huh, Amanda? Yeah, I'll tell you what, I think I'm going to get in on this in the next hour, but people are working hard this morning. They are. Tell me what they're doing now. Right now they're into the workout phase, so this one is uh, a rounds for time. So we gave them three different exercises they're going to perform in a rotation, three, uh, 10 rounds, and do it as quickly as they can. Okay. Finishing all those reps. All right, working the legs and the arms. Sort of a little bit of everything. Body, really. we're, we're, doing, we're doing an Olympic lift with, uh, you know, a clean, which is taking a weight from the ground, catching it up around the shoulders, which is definitely all body, uh, challenging you in several ways. Then they're doing some handstand push-ups, a lot more shoulder work, and then doing some lunges after that to get that lower body. So. Wow, it just sounds hard. I'd like to point out Lee Vader's right here, who happens to work at WPDE. Working hard this morning. I like it, Lee. Right. <laughs> Man. You that, <laughs> yeah, you bet. It takes a while. Does it take a while to work up to this level? You know, this is going to get you there quicker than anything else. We have a lot of people say, well, I need to get in shape. Before I before come to CrossFit. Before you start, I hear that all the time. Sir. However, this is going to prepare you for CrossFit like nothing else. It's going to get you. you know? in, this is going to get you in shape. Yeah, I, I thought I was in shape before I started CrossFit, and it was horrible. You know, I wasn't. I realized how <laughs> how much I was not in shape. You know, so this is going to get you there quicker. But uh, definitely, you know, big results. The intensity is. The yeah. Yeah. Well, it's obviously addiction. I mean, these people love it. And, you said they're like family. I mean, the same yeah. people come every day to every class. Yeah, this group pretty much sees each other every morning. You know, so that's what they wake up to. They, you know, they jab each other. You know, carry on. So it's just the way they start their day and get along great. Yeah. Well, very nice. And uh, yeah, a little shout out for Lee Crystal. What do you think? You know, you don't want to mess with him at the office. He's Amanda, I was actually saying, look at him go, you know, work it out like that at this hour. Good for all of them in the gym. Keep up the motivation, guys. Time now is 522 on this third day of January. If you're looking for a workout to try this new year, one of the top fitness trends right now is CrossFit. WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinzith at, is live at Core Fitness in Myrtle Beach with those details. Good morning. That's right. So if you've never heard of CrossFit, well, what is it? What is it really? CrossFit is a core strength and conditioning program that uh, is all inclusive because we really don't leave anything unturned and don't have a, uh, a routine. We try to, the routine is the enemy. So we do that by utilizing weightlifting, gymnastics moves, which would be anything body weight, and then cardio as far as jump roping as we're doing today. Yeah, you can see uh, that people are already out here working hard this morning, and they come out here every, every morning. Every morning we have a, a class schedule, 5.15, 6.15 in the morning are two of our busiest classes. You can see this morning pretty busy as well. Yeah, now there's a lot going on. Everybody's kind of doing something different. Oh, yeah. so How's the process? <clears throat> when they come in each morning, we're going to have a warm-up put on the board for them. So right now, what they're doing is they're working through the warm-up. So they have about five or six exercises they're working through, just kind of get the body heated up, get everything loose, and we'll go through some stretching. And then we'll get into the actual workout okay. for, uh, for the day. Everybody here kind of knows what they're doing. Uh, maybe a little intimidating for somebody who's never done it before. So for the beginners, do they just jump right into class, or how do they go about Absolutely that? Absolutely not. For the beginner, what we do is there's a five class foundations, and uh, we go through all the basic movements, especially the weightlifting movements, but also the body weight stuff. Just so when you come to the class, you're going to be prepared. Okay. So uh, you're not going to come in look at the board and wonder, oh, I don't know how to do any of this <laughs> like, stuff. So, uh, yeah. I'm just going to go Ex to the treadmill, right? Exactly. <laughs> so uh, we, we go through that class. So when you come to a group class, you're ready and you understand the movements we're going to be doing. Okay. Well, I love that. Routine is the enemy. You know, you do something yep. different every day, which really works your body, and that's where you see the Absolutely. big results. All right. CrossFit this morning, Crystal. Sounds good, Amanda. I've heard a lot about it, so I'm interested to learn more. If you're looking for a workout to try this new year, one of the top fitness trends right now is CrossFit. WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinzid is live at Core Fitness in Myrtle Beach explaining what CrossFit's all about. Hey, Amanda. 
You got, yeah, that's right. CrossFit's like an entire body workout. You vary it, you change it up every day. And it can be a little intimidating when you look at all these CrossFitters. So we're kind of going through what the beginners do before they jump right into, they don't jump right into a class. They don't, we, and we, we have a whole series. It's called the on-ramp series. And I'm gonna show you just the, like the basic, the very first thing, the skill that we learn is called an air squat. It's a squat without anything at all. Okay. This is a target. So it's lower than you think. You want to sit down, but not not like hang out on the ball. It's <laughs> kind of a touch and go. But you want to go down, get down and touch yep. it, and back up. Your weight's up. in your heels, and you go down just a little lower. And some people think, oh, I can't go down that low. Well, then you don't. We modify everything. Okay. That's why we go through the on-ramp. So you learn what the modifications are, what the best position for you to start in, and then you go up from there. So that is the basic air squat. The next squat we teach is with a PVC pipe. There's no weight. Right. So you do what you put your hands like this, way up high, elbows stay up, and then you do that basic air squat again. Okay. Keeping your elbows up. Sit down and up. After you master that, we then teach the overhead squat, which is a wide grip. You lift that up, and then you do the same squat. Okay. Down and up. And keeping those arms straight up overhead. Yeah. Right, nice. So we don't hand you any weight until you've mastered the basics. Right. And then you go from there. Do you want to try it with just a little weight? Sure. Okay. So this is just. So then you, you work your way up. I mean, you work you your way up. Right so anybody it. can do it. They really can. And you modify. If you can't do a full squat, then you go down a little lower. Sure. Until you can go further. So try that overhead squat with just 15 pounds. Hey. Kind of changes the game a little, doesn't it? Yeah, it makes yeah. it a little harder. So, yeah. Crystal, four squats this morning. I'm working on some CrossFit. Good form, Amanda. And she worked out all morning yesterday on our show. She's going to sleep well tonight. It <laughs> might be a little sore after all that exercise. Next on Good Morning Carolinas. Doing a CrossFit workout this morning. Stick around to see some of the workout and how beginners can join in. 644, speaking of the new year, CrossFit's a fitness trend that many people are trying out this new year. It features over 100 exercises, from basic pull-ups to flipping big tires. WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinzit is live at Court Fitness in Myrtle Beach, trying out some CrossFit, huh, Amanda? Yeah, absolutely. And you know, beginners can, can get in on this. You don't just jump right into a class. You work your way up, and it's really a good workout because you're doing something different every day. You're yep. really challenging your body and seeing results. Exactly. So yeah, before you get to join the group, you go through the on-ramp like we talked about the first time. The second basic skill would be the press series. A strict press, you start from here and push the bar straight up overhead. Right. Lock out those arms at the top. Yep, and you don't use your legs at all oh, for the strict just press. The push, just right. the strict press. Then the push press, you get a little help from your legs. About 30% more weight can be pushed up by that, okay. adding a little push. All right. So a little dip and drive. Yep, push press. And then the next one is a push jerk. So you push, you start to push the bar up, you drop, and then stand up. All right. So a little timing. Dip. Yes. Dead yeah. on. A natural. A natural crossfitter. <laughs> yes. So you I'm, learn those I'm basic ready. skills before you get to join the group, and you are so ready. Yeah, well, it's, it's really fun to watch the people that come in here every morning. There's like a little family. They get together. They work out. And, man, they are all fit. I mean, if they didn't start fit, they are now after yeah, a Yeah, and that's while. the thing. You don't have to wait to get fit to get in here. It, we teach you the basic skills so you don't get hurt. And the quickest way to get fit is, you know, to, to actually learn these things, these basic skills, and then you get pushed. And there's modifications for everything. So, I mean, I'm holding a PVC pipe. Yeah. The next is a 15-pound bar. And then you add weight from there. And so all ages do this, too. All ages. Yep, all shapes and sizes. We have, you know, teenagers up until, you know, 60 years old. A workout pop. for everybody. Yes. And uh, I'm going to get back at it. Crystal? All right, good for you, Amanda. Don't stop.